Hello and welcome to this Dot Frost Maths key skill video on rounding a number to a given number of significant figures. Now imagine you're a sports journalist and you had a certain number of people in the stadium and let's just say there was, I don't know, 36,729 people in the stadium. It's a large stadium. Now, in your article, how would you write the number of people that were in the stadium? You wouldn't want to give the precise figure, you might just want to give a rounded figure. So, for example, you could round to the nearest 1,000. So, you could say there was 36,000 people in the stadium. Or you could round it even more, you could round it to, say, 10,000, so 40,000 people were in the stadium. And that should really be 37,000, shouldn't it? Now, notice in both these cases, I just kept the first few digits of this number. So in the first case, I kept the first two digits with this appropriately rounding up. Whereas in the first number, I only looked at the first digit and just rounded the rest so we got to the nearest 10,000. So we only kept one digit. And we would have said that we've rounded this number to two significant figures, whereas we rounded this number to one significant figure. And it's quite similar to how we round to a certain number of decimal places. It's just that we start counting the, the figures we want to keep from the first non-zero digit. So let's look at this first example. We went around 35.7649 to three significant figures. Now that means starting from the first digit, we want to keep the first three digits for our number. So one, two, three. Now what we did with rounding to decimal places is that we looked at the digit just after what you'd underlined. So this is six. Now if this is five or greater, this is gonna round up. And if it's not, this stays the same. Now is this digit five or greater? Yes it is, so this is gonna go up to eight. And we discard the rest. So we're gonna get 35.8. And that is this number to three significant figures. So just to note that we start counting digits from the first non-zero digit. What about the second one? Round 13,472 to two significant figures. So again, we start counting from the first non-zero digit, which is this first digit, and we take two of those digits because we went around to two significant figures, one, two. And then we look at the digit just after that one we underlined. That's a four. Now, is that five or greater? No, it isn't. So this three stays as three. So we write one three. But the final answer is not going to be 13, because 13 is a very different number to 13,472. It's hardly like we've rounded 13,472 to 13. We've got a completely different number. So we have to put zeros for the remaining digits. And the reason is we need that three digit to stay as a thousands digit. It's the thousands digit here. And by putting those zeros there, we ensure that three is still the thousands digit there. Now the last one, remember we start counting from the first non-zero digit. Now the first non-zero digit here is that one there. We don't count this zero, we don't count that leading zero, but we do count from here. And we want three of those digits, three significant figures. So one, two, three. And note, by the way, that any zeros after when we start counting from still count. It's only the leading zeros that we want to ignore. Now, as always, we look at the digit after what we underlined. That's an eight. Is that five or above? Yes, it is. So that zero goes up to one. So we therefore get 0.0171. And again, we need to put those leading zeros on the front because otherwise the place value of these digits is going to change and we don't want that.